So how is it if you want to fast track building new social networks? Because if you're doing a stock take of yours and going, mm, it's not so good. And it may, it might not, it may, the guys may be lovely people. They may be dudes that you'd like to hang around, but they're not go-getters. They're not guys who are going to go out and hit on girls regularly. They are uh, not necessarily the people that have got the same passion and vision that you do. So you want to go and find new networks because it is really vitally important. Just being that uh, laptop entrepreneur by yourself on the, on the beach is not the end point. Having networks of men around you, and not just one, but having multiple ones within your own city and then starting to think nationally and globally if you can and reaching those out around the world means that eventually you can set up syndicates of these groups of guys around the world. This is what I currently do uh, and I call it the International Couch Mafia which was developed when I first came to the 21 convention in 2011, I think it was in London, I was broke and uh, I was staying on the couch of some uh, friend of a fan's who was way out in Whistle Wazzleworth, some place where you didn't want to be, uh, well out of the centre of London. And so I came in, did my speech, and then I met the artist formerly known as Sasha Daygame, who's now <laughs> going by his real name. Uh, everyone knows who Sasha is, surely? Yes, I hope so. He's a very funny and lovely person. And uh, we met after the, the, the speech, and we chatted, and we got on well. And this is the under underlying point of the seductive economy, is that there needs to be, uh, if you want to learn how to supercharge your connections with people, it's not about this kind of surface level networking, where I go and I, and I force a smile and I hand a business card and I say, let's do a deal sometime. The underlying currency that everybody wants, that, that everybody really wants to trade on, is being understood, listened to, having connection. It's the human emotions that are the most valuable. The reason why I am so seductive or so successful as a people person is not because I have the best game, I don't. It's because when I'm with somebody, I drop into my own space and into their space, I look them clearly in the eyes and I stay with them. And then when I ask them something, I listen. When they tell me something, I'm really present with them. I don't just say what they want to hear, I'll challenge them. Right? And in this way, I'm having a true connection with somebody. This is, the, again, why the, the skill of seduction is the ultimate male skill. Anyone uh, had the experience where they've seen someone in their workplace who was not the best at the job climb faster than everyone else? He's like over there, he's like, fuck that guy. <laughs> or, or, or was that you? Or was it some other guy? That guy, right. Um, the people that do the best in life are not the people who are necessarily the greatest specialist at their thing. It's the people who do the job well and are really, really good people people. Yeah, they're very good human communicators. Because at the, the reality is, the boss wants to hang around with somebody probably that they like to hang around with. That they understand, uh, like when I've, when I've hired coaches in the past, yes, it's based on seduction skill, but I've met some guys who are fucking killers with the ladies, and I don't want to hang around them. They just, they just look at me in a strange way, they're just a little bit too something, just something feels wrong, and so I don't want to be around them. And then I've met other guys who are definitely very good with ladies, good at teaching, and we vibe and connect, and I want to spend time with that person. So the underlying currency uh, of the seductive exchange is true human emotions. However, in order for us to cement those relationships and speed them up, then what I can do is utilize these four actions, or a combination of them, to ask, to offer, to trade, and to collaborate. Right? Because, as I said before, if there's no reaching out of me giving something or actually asking for something or swapping of these currencies, then it doesn't really hold men together properly. Men build their so social circles based around trust, loyalty. Right? The, you can't, if, you're, if you're in a group of dudes and you fuck your friend's girlfriend, it's over. If you steal his cash, it's over. Right? These are the deal breakers between groups of men typically. And Groups of men are suspicious of other groups of men. They, they either go into allyship with them or they're in competition with them. And it's important that this group has a solid uh, understanding of what the code is. And a lot of that comes to do with, uh, the only way that we can uh, understand that this is real is to test it. All right? that's, why, that's why when I hire somebody, I give them little opportunities to fuck me over for a year. Yeah, I'll, give, I'll give them access to small amounts of money or connections uh, or girls 
and see what they do with it. Right? Because in the past I have been fucked over by people who are very, very charming and promised the world, but over time you see where their true colours are. So if you want to step out and create new dynamic social networks, then the first thing you need to do is target the gatekeepers.